On to new news this morning, a Denver man is now putting the finishing touches on a unique rocking chair built out of branches from the Santa Fe National Forest. This after spending two weeks in seclusion, creating his own work of art with little to no human contact. News 13, Sarah Yingling is here with the details. Building something from nothing. When I go harvest, like, you know, I, I'll just grab anything I can find. What may look like just another branch in the woods is now a piece in the intricate puzzle that Vance Miller Bicknell put together to build a one-of-a-kind rocking chair. It's one thing I love about the scrub oak. Um, it, it grows real twisty. For the past 20 years, the Denver man has been living out a lifelong dream, traveling around the country, connecting with nature by building chairs with his own two hands. I couldn't walk through the forest without seeing, oh, there's a post, there's a rail, there's a spindle. You know, everywhere I looked, I saw it. Now, on chair number 26, his journey has brought him to New Mexico twice, the first time near Roswell in 2015. I have a definite, like, uh, I don't know, sort of a romantic pull to New Mexico. This time, Miller Bicknell spent two weeks camped out in the Santa Fe National Forest just outside of Torero. He says he spent several hours every morning searching for small pieces of scrub oak branches, then spends the rest of the day piecing together the incredible piece of art. It's a very intricate process for Miller Bicknell, who uses a special technique called finger splicing to connect the branches. I wanted to take the tree and turned into a chair. I didn't want to just take sticks and put them together. 21 branches went into making this piece, and it's an experience that he says provides a unique connection to the earth every time he completes another chair. I take away a sense of peace that I, that I don't necessarily have in my daily life. Miller Bicknell says that once he gets back home to Denver, he will glue the pieces together, sand it to smooth out the joints, and then put a finish on it. He'll then add the leather upholstery. Back to you. How cool is that? Thanks so much, Sarah. Miller Bicknell says after each chair is made, he'll could contact interior designers and artists in hopes of selling the piece. He hopes to sell this one for $6,500.